I casted some type of voodoo on myself and I had the most insane luck. I actually managed to summon myself the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man, which is currently the most rare unit in the game. So I thought what better way to use a unit than by using it against Endless Mode. Because duh. We're hoping today that we're going to be able to get to the upper wave 100 so I can unlock the freaking upgraded Titan Drill Man. And assuming because a bunch more people got the new unit, I now have to get above 101 Aww. waves. It used to only be 90. If you want to see me get the new Titan Drill Man, make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe right now. We're trying to pass Mr. Beast by the end of the year. Let's go ahead and add this man to our team. Bop, bop, bop. Just kidding. Bop. And a bop. Last but not least. Uh, bop. And you know what? Since I'm a real man, well, I guess I'm more of a skeleton. I am going to be doing this with auto skip on. Time to see how strong he actually is. But I am really excited about this because he's only 2,000 to place compared to the upgraded Titan Cinema Man. That costs 3,000 to place normally. With that being said, it should make it so that we last farther in endless mode. At least I think. Hey, Sammy. Do you guys think the Santa TV Man is the most placed unit in all of Toilet Tower Defense? Or do you think there's been another unit that's been placed more? Hey, Talantrix, go ahead and run the numbers on that one. Thank you, pal. All right, we went ahead and got our Green Lantern can ran down. And as you guys can guess, upgrading the economy so I can bankrupt the Skibbity Toilet Country. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Or would I? <laughs> Sorry, a bone came up my throat. Yo! I've noticed that this voice has been taking me over more. I don't know what's happening to me. I think I'm turning more into a skeleton. Remind me asking you what color your underwear is. What is going on? I swear, I don't hear voices. I don't hear voices. Uh, hopeless dude, you're playing toilet tower defense. Get it together, man. You're right. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> Green laser cameraman. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just shut up till I get $2,000. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Honestly, finding the best place to put this man is kind of a tricky situation. I feel like here's really good to start out. With. I'm walking on water. But man, his aesthetic is just so freaking cool. I, I I still cannot believe that I actually got this unit. I got him on my second summon. I'm so lucky. If you want that kind of luck, make sure you guys subscribe. We are trying to get to 100,000 by the end of the year. After all. Get out of my head. Also, by the way, a lot of you guys wanted to make sure you told me that the Hyper Upgrade Titan Man, Titan Speaker Man, is not the best Titan unit. Hopeless. Oh, you're an idiot. It's not that. Okay. Yes. 10 the upgraded titan drill man does more but do any exist right now no so out of units that are in the game you know which one's the strongest yeah that's right my hubby hyper upgraded titan speaker man why was that so hard for me to say dude you you played this game for five months you should know how to speak part of him he doesn't mean to do that ah, my head all right let's just go ahead and upgrade our hyper upgraded titan speaker man to level two so now we have a little bit more range i said this in the other video the one thing that i love about the hyper upgraded titan cinema man is that his v right here is actually massive. Normally, like with the upgraded Titan Cinema Man, their V is only like half the size, which sounds stupid. But no, that actually matters a lot because this is the entire area of effect that the uh, the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man can actually touch and do damage to. Which, once again, you probably think sounds stupid, but trust me, it makes sense. Also, this large V is also super important for us because as his range increases, it's gonna actually give us the chance of surviving longer, especially with auto skip. You probably disagree with me right now, saying hopeless you're an idiot but just you wait i'll prove you wrong just like my dad i still haven't proved him wrong it's actually kind of crazy how popping off the hyper upgraded titan speaker man is doing right now it's only at level two we will go ahead and make him level three and look at that range oh my gosh i think i also found the goaded spot if you want to get to wave 100 yeah place the hyper upgraded titan speaker man right i want to watch you absolutely melt that hype that mutant toilet just do it yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it from your pov though what does it look like to shoot toilets that seems pretty fun would you guys like if there was a pov first person shooter of toilet tower defense would you play it? Hopeless, that already exists. All right, so far, I think we're doing just fine. And I'm so confident in the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man, mainly because of his, literally his range and his ability to do area of effect damage, that I'm just going to focus up on upgrading the economy. I mean, some of these toilets are making it kind of far-ish down the conveyor belt, but I really think it's nothing to worry about. Also, god dang it, I thought I placed this Green Leader cameraman out of the way. Also, I brought the announcer down over the speaker, mainly because it has a bigger range. So more of the Titans are actually going to get to actually use the buff from it versus just the speaker. In case you were wondering why I did that. Okay, so yeah, some of the toilets are definitely making its way farther down the conveyor belt now, but we got our hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man to level four now. And dude, it's 
literally night and day. It's insane how good this unit is. Yeah, look at this range. Once I upgrade him one more time with this upgraded range, he's literally going to be doing his area of effect damage all the way over here. And I even place one of these hyper titan boys right here. And once I have my camera speaker down, I have literally nothing to worry about. I'm trying to get all these boys placed down in an effective manner to strategize the best positions for them to be early. Honestly, these three dudes stacked up like this could be a lock screen. How cool does this look? Just the bros chilling out, hanging out, having a good time. The bro. I'm getting ran over by a flying rocket launch. That probably would have hurt if I wasn't a scout. And this flying dual bus saw is getting pretty far down the conveyor belt. We don't really like that very much, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bop. Go ahead and upgrade the hyper all the way to max. And now, dude, look at this freaking D. Do you guys see what I'm saying? From this place right here. Oh, his bubble so close to being right here. Oh, if he could reach that far, his damage would be even more broke. Holy cow. So right now, he is doing 100 damage per second. 100,000 damage per second. So pretty much anything that has a million health should die relatively fast as soon as they start walking in here. Oh, yeah, there's some 600,000 health units that, yeah, they got absolutely melted. That's about what we expected. Genuinely, endless mode has never been made so easy for me. If this isn't the units that I need to get to wave 100, then I don't think I'm ever gonna get there. I'm being honest. Uh huh. I re strategized the announcer cameraman so all of these guys get the boost. I'm so smart. Imagine if I had a brain. All right, so without turning off auto skip once, we've almost already made it to wave 40. Obviously, our goal is today is to get to wave 100, but the fact that I haven't had a turn off auto skip yet speaks volume. Like, look at this welder. It's just dying. It's getting deaded so fast. All three of these aren't even maxed out yet. Only this one is. Imagine how good they'll be when they're all maxed out. I'm gonna admit it. I feel bad for the toilets for once, but not too bad. I'm trying to decide right now if it's better for me to just place down more of the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man, or if it's better for me to upgrade these ones. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to upgrade these before I place more. Might be a bold strategy, but we're gonna see if it pays off. <laughs> also, none of the toilets have even gotten close to the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man. I haven't even had to consider dropping the camera repair drone yet. <laughs> That's how good this man is. All right, things were getting a little bit dicey, but I was able to fully max out one of my hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man. So we now have two of them fully maxed out. As you can see, we have a lot of dangerous units coming out, but you know what? I ain't gonna falter. I'm gonna keep auto skip on. Let's see how much past wave 50 or if up to wave 50 these units can go without me turning off auto skip. 100% full on auto skip run. Hey, look, it's like you guys. Hey, look, it's your brother. Why are you, hey, why are you killing your brother? Is it, is it because he's so much smaller than you? That's not very nice. Now, all three of these are doing equivalent of 300,000 damage per second because I managed to put all of them inside of the announcer's brain. And I should easily be able to sneak another one of these in here. There's one there. Can we sneak in another one? Oh, yes, we can. Obus can actually be good at this game when he actually uses his bird. All right, we got our wave 50 boss, and honestly, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I've ever made it farther than wave 50. Not only that, but we've only been in here for 16 minutes. I'm not doing this. He is. All right, so far, the giant smooth toilet is proving to be quite a formidable match for us. Clearly the most health unit we've had come out of the conveyor belt so far, and that glitch toilet made me so scared. But we got another max out Hyper Titan Speaker Man. So now we're doing 400,000 damage per second. And it's a literal area of effect. It's so stupid. Like the V is like almost the equivalent of the Frost DJ. <laughs> That's so broken. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just absolutely murking a 7 million health scientist toilet. Excuse me, boss. Um, so it looks like these Strider guys are trying to kind of um ruin the vibe. If I turn off auto skip here, I know it could last forever, but I'm a man of my word auto skip only and i literally haven't even seen frost toilets out on here before are they just taking assets from everywhere my guy's sleeping i have a camera oh now i think i know why the like high round strategy involves using two repair drones i get it now also this right here is definitely slightly worrisome i'm not too sure if we have enough units over here that can do enough damage to these boss toilets to kill them before they make it to the end oh maybe oh no it's gonna be the end for us no nah, dang it but well, we did make it to wave 61. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna try this again today where I have more time and I can actually turn off auto skip on endless mode. Today, I just didn't have the luxury of doing that. Mainly because I have to watch them throw around the big old pigskin. But I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to get the chance to get the hyper upgraded Titan Speaker Man yourself and upgrade your luck, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys check out yesterday's video. It was an absolute banger and I had a great time making it. Probably my best video I've ever made. So, either way, without further ado, that is all the time I have for you guys today. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.